Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Me Club. Today I have a really cool nail tutorial for you guys. So sit back, relax, and continue watching, but before you do, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here so you won't miss out on any nail tutorial ever that I do. And then how about we'll give this video a like as well. But other than that, let's get started with this video. And lock your way so we can break apart the with this video, it's going to be a double ombre flame tutorial. That's why I'm calling it. So, for this ombre, we're going to go in with a purple to a black for the base ombre. So, we're going to start off with putting one coat of purple down onto all the nails. You could use white, but in this case, since I'm using purple and black, that is no necessary to do the white base. So, I just did with the purple base first. And the purple that I used was a Salon Perfect called Mood Ring. Plus with ombres, you could use a white base to make sure all of the colors really pop. Or you can use a, a light, the lightest color from your ombre and do it that way. But since this is kind of like a, I wanted this to be kind of like dark, um, I thought that just using the purple as a base would be perfect in this instance. So once that purple base is down, I got a makeup sponge wedge and ready to do the first ombre. So I had like one strip of purple at the top because I want the purple to be at the cuticle area and then I filled in the rest with black. So I used the same purple again, the Salon Perfect Mood Ring Purple and then I also used the black from LA Colors Color Craze and that one is called Circuits. And I applied the, those two on the makeup sponge wedge, purple at the top, black at the bottom, and kind of mix it in the middle, and then dab, dab, dab all onto my nails, and I did about two to three, like always, dab sessions that onto every nail to make sure it's nice and opaque that I want them. Now it's time to start with the flames onto the nails. Since we already have like a dark background, we're gonna need some lightness so these colors can pop off of the black. So obviously you had to have a white, and so the white that I used was from LA Colors Color Craze. It's called Energy Source. For each nail, I did a flame design. An easy way to explain to do a flame, you first you do a large rounded swivel at the bottom and that goes into a sharp tip. So I essentially made the shape, the outline shape of each flame on each nail. Then I went in with a more flatter nail brush that I can then fill in the white to make sure it's nice and opaque. For this instance, since I had a black background, I'm going to need two coats so it's nice and white as possible. Now we're going to do the second ombre, but this ombre is going to be by hand then by a makeup sponge wedge. We're going to have an ombre from a green to a yellow. And so first we're going to take your liner brush or even that flat nail brush that we use to fill in with that white and we're going to start off the green and slowly and carefully fill in the top section of the flame, the tip to um, the like halfway down the flame in green. And I did about two coats of green. The green that I used was from LA Colors Color Last and that green is called Energy. And make sure when you do it halfway down that it's not just a harsh line, it's kind of like feathered. And then I did the yellow, which I used LA Colors Color Last, and that one's called Upbeat. And I filled in the bottom and then kind of mushed it up into the green a little bit. So you make sure to really mush that area really good so it gives that ombre effect. So then when I put the second coat in, I did the same thing with the green and kind of meshed them more together. And then the, the yellow again to really get that nice blend to make that ombre from green to yellow. Once that flame ombre was done, I decided to put some little glitter on it and I used LA Colors Neon Jelly. It is called Sunbeam and I applied that onto the yellow and also helped like the ombre effect as well. Then all left to do was to uh, top coat it and so the top coat that I used was from Pro FX Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat and I applied that to every nail. Roll your mind. 
Seeing all the water rain. So you guys, how do you like my double ombre fling nail tutorial? I really dig these nails. These are really freaking cool and they like really pop and I just love them so much. And I love the almond shape that like it makes the flame even more like perfect so i really love and enjoy this nail tutorial i hope you enjoyed it just as much as me and i hope that you try these nails out for yourself as well these are pretty cool so i hope you like this video give a like down below if you did like it also don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out any other nail tutorials that i do but other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you back next week bye